but I'm confused. About what? Well, in 1 Samuel verse 30, or in 1 Samuel 30 verse 6, says, David was in great distress because the people in their bitterness said he should be stoned. Ooh, that's not very nice. No, it's not. But it ends with the phrase, God, David found strength in the Lord his God. Well, that's cool. Yeah, but if someone wanted to hurt me by throwing stones at me, how could I find strength in the Lord? We've got to, like, actually step in front of me and stop all the stones like some kind of superhero? Mm. Well, let me show you, okay? Let's pretend this piece of paper is our life. It's not very strong, is it? No. No. And you see, I can balance that, and I'm going to try and balance a rock on top of it, because it's like a little problem in our lives. And let's see what happens. Falls right through. But which do you think is stronger? The paper or the rock? The rock. So our life is like the piece of paper and it lacks strength. That's right. So when we face the problems like the rock in our life, we need God's strength in us. How do we get God's strength in our lives? Well, I guess prayer gives us strength. That's true. Prayer gives us strength. And reading the Bible and claiming the promises. That's right. Reading the Bible is important. And having faith in God's salvation. Oh, definitely having faith is important, yeah. Also, having fellowship with other Christians. Oh, I really like to fellowship with my Christian friends. And also worshiping God. Worshiping God is very important to our daily lives. And the special gifts and abilities that God blesses us with. That's right. Now that we have God's strength, and we get that strength, the same piece of paper, adding God's strength of prayer and faith and worship and the word and fellowship and using his special gifts, see what can happen. Wow. Yeah. We can not only carry little problems, we can carry a lot of problems. And that's what you have when God's strength is inside of you. You get stronger and you don't collapse. When God arms us with the gifts, we can use it to his glory. That sounds like our take point. God arms me with gifts. I can use them for his glory. Hi boys and girls. Welcome to Faith Roots. Today we are going to hear about one of the strongest men in the world. His name is Samson. Mm, hi kids. What's the biz? Hi there. <laughs> Party. We are ready to meet Samson. Okay. He was a very, very strong guy and in fact, he killed a lion with his bare hands, and he did a lot of other really cool stuff, too. Well, I'm impressed, as you have guessed, but have to fear I'm not staying here. <laughs> mm, boys and girls, that was strange. Gordy, Gordy, come back here with us just for a second. Um, why don't you want to hang around? What's up? Samson's strong, and it won't take long to see what I'm weak, and he'll call me a dick. Oh, yeah. I get it. You're embarrassed because Samson is so strong and you're, well, you're just a young, small guy. Mm -hmm. I understand, but today's Bible event is about much more than just being strong. More than muscles? Who are they trying to hustle? <laughs> what I mean, Cordy, is that the Spirit of the Lord came on Samson and gave him strength, and that is what made him special. Huh. The Spirit of the Lord can come upon each of us and give us special gifts, too, like you and me. I don't see... Friends at home. Yeah. I don't think I see what he's going to give to me. Nope. Uh, Gordy, <laughs> what? look at the way you're talking. You're making everything rhyme every time. Well, I sure. I can rhyme on a dime. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, you can. And, Gordy, uh -huh. you are very good at making jokes. Oh, Miss Sarah, that's mm -hmm. true because I make fun of you. Oh, well, sometimes <laughs> you sometimes even tell, tell funny jokes, Gordy. <laughs> uh, but anyway, God gave you a special gift, and you can use it for him. It is the same way that he gave a special gift to Samson. It is just that Samson, well, he let somebody take that special gift away. Oh. And we do not want to make that mistake. Well, let's show and go. Tell me what I gotta know. Okay. Yep. Here it is, Gordy. Just uh -huh. sit back and, uh, well, 
let's listen at home. Okay, see right. you in a while, Alex Ellie. Oh, I mean, crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Stories of the Bible, Samson and Delilah. This is Samson. Hey. Who was the last judge of Israel. Samson was very strong, and he was supposed to bring God's people victory over their enemies, who were the Philistines. Now Samson fell in love with a woman named Delilah. Oh, hey there. And the Philistines came to Delilah What's going on? and convinced her to find out what the secret to Samson's strength was. Hmm. They promised her a great amount of money if she could do this. Now you're coming. Hey. Come in. So Delilah said to Samson, Please tell me what makes you so strong and what would it take to tie you up securely? Well... Samson replied, If I were tied up with seven new bowstrings that have not yet been dropped, I would become as weak as anyone else. You ain't here! So the Philistine rulers brought Delilah seven new bowstrings. <laughs> Look what I got! Go on, try. And she tied Samson up with them. Uh-huh, see? Hello, Samson! She cried out, Samson, the Philistines have come to capture you. But Samson snapped the bowstrings. Let me at him! So the secret of his strength was not discovered. Hey, wait a minute. Afterward, Delilah said to him, You've been making fun of me and telling me lies. Now please tell me how you can be tied up securely. Eh, all right. Samson replied, If I were tied up with brand new ropes that had never been used, I would become as weak as anyone else. <laughs> Let me try. So Delilah took new ropes and tied him up with them. See? Oh, no! And again, Delilah cried out, Samson, the Philistines have come to capture you. What? Where? Let me at him. But again, Samson snapped the ropes from his arms. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Then Delilah said, You've been making fun of me and telling me lies. Now tell me, how can you be tied up securely? All right, I'll tell you. Samson replied, If you were to weave the seven braids of my hair into the fabric on your loom and tighten it with a loom shuttle, I would become as weak as anyone else. <laughs> now we got him. So while he slept, Delilah wove the seven braids of his hair into the fabric. <laughs> Again, she cried out, Samson, the Philistines have come to capture you. Oh, let me at him. But Samson woke up and yanked his hair away from the loom and the fabric. You gotta be kidding me. Then Delilah pouted, How can you tell me I love you when you don't share your secrets with me? Hey, come on. No. You've made fun of me three times now, and you still haven't told me what makes you so strong. She tormented him with her nagging day after day until he was sick to death of it. All right, all right. Finally, Samson shared his secret with her. My hair has never been cut, for I was dedicated to God as a Nazarite from birth. If my head were shaved, my strength would leave me, and I would become as weak as anyone else. Oh, well, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Delilah realized he had finally told her the truth, you. So she sent for the Philistine rulers. Come back one more time, she said, for he has finally told me his secret. So the Philistine rulers returned. Oh, Samson. Delilah lulled Samson to sleep. And then she called in a man to shave off the seven locks of his hair. Samson's strength left him. Then she cried out, Samson, the Philistines have come to capture you. <laughs> when he woke up, he thought, I will do as before and shake myself free. Oh, wh what's going on? But he didn't realize the Lord had left him. 
So the Philistines captured him and took him to prison. So Gordy, what did you think about Samson? Well, God made him strong, but he didn't stay that way very long. Mm, nope. You know what? That yep. is the truth. He mm. lost his strength because he allowed himself to be fooled. Yep, he was dumb, and Del Delilah, she was a bum. <sighs> well, that's saying it. Right. Did you learn anything, Gordy? Don't trust girls, they'll cut your curls. Okay, uh -huh. Gordy, yep. all right, enough with the silly rhymes. Today, we did learn that God arms me with gifts and I can use them for his glory. Hmm, even if I'm rhyming and a jumping and a jimming and stuff and everything like that. <laughs> even that, Gordy. Even that stuff, mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay. Remember that yep. God loves you so much but he gave you Jesus, his own son, and Jesus died on the cross to take away your sin. That's so that you will have strength from God. You will have the strength of his forgiveness. I don't need that in a bind for a rhyme that I can't find. Mm -hmm. No, nope. That's for sure. We all need the power of God's forgiveness through Jesus if we make a mistake. In this case, I do not think it would be a mistake if you could not find a rhyme, Gordy. <laughs> but Jesus does give you his power so that you can use your special gift for him. You mm -hmm. mean my rhyme makes him feel fine? Uh, sure, when you use it for him. But okay. right now, I'm kind of getting burnt out on all the rhyming. Mm -hmm. Would you mind just talking normal just for a minute, Gordy? Okay, like which way? Um, well, how about this? How about just close us with prayer? But... You don't need to rhyme. Okay, Miss Sarah. It was kind of fun. <laughs> it was kind of fun, wasn't All it? Right, you okay, me laugh. I'll talk straight this time. Okay. okay. Thanks, Gordy. All right, yeah, kiddos. Bow your head. All Four right, heads. that's bowing head. head. Dear God, first of all, thank you for Jesus. And thank you that he gave his life for us. Because of him, we are given strength. Mm -hmm. and help me to use my special gift in a way that they bring glory to you. And please don't let me fall for stupid traps like Simon did, or Samson did. I mean, excuse me, Samson. Why did I say Simon? I'm sorry, God, Samson did. And in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And that's okay, Gordy. Sometimes I do that, too. Oh, my you heard me talking to my kids? Yeah, yeah. Well, I messed it up. Happens. Okay. See you guys in a while, crocodile. Bye, boys and girls. <laughs>
I guess so. <laughs> that's a great gift to have. Uh huh. Because God made us all special. Yeah, he did. But that's not the take home point. <sighs> here we go. Okay, Come on, kids. Let's hear it again. One more time. Here we go, kids. God arms me with gifts. I, I can, can use them for you. His glory. glory. Are you ready? Sure. God arms me with gifts. Hmm, can you think of a rhyme that rhymes with chocolate? Chocolate. 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 Oh, wait. That's what? not what we're supposed to be doing. What? It isn't. You have your mind on chocolate well, again. Yeah, yeah you Hey, I do. Hand. I brought my two M and M packs again. One for you and one for your friend, so you can be a sharer. Good, good, good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but before what? I can share them yes. with you, yes, you have to remember the table. <sighs> okay, Miss Miriam. I guess you're gonna have to tell it one more time, and maybe really with some okay. hearts. I'm okay. hoping your special gift will be remembering. I okay. hope so too. Here we go. Uh, okay. Ready? Okay. God arms me with gifts. I can use yeah, them for yeah. His glory. Mm -hmm. Miss Miriam, I think I got it. I think I got it, kids. God arms me with gifts. I can use them for His glory. His glory. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. All right. See you next week, guys. Here you go. Thank you. Bye bye. same.